What's going on, y'all? It's Rob with Cinema Bullies. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something that uh, I experienced yet again um, from just somebody that, you know, is a influence in the community that's done a lot of stuff. Um, but uh, doesn't know how to to talk you know, correctly, especially to somebody like me, um, on public posts, um, you know, when making a general statement. And, uh, if you know, you know, if you don't, I mean, the post got, uh, deleted or got flagged, so the comments got taken down, I think, but anyway, <clears throat> um, breeders, especially a lot of these big name breeders that you guys worship and you know think that they're the best thing since sliced bread or whatever the case is <clears throat> a lot of them don't give two shits about you the dogs you buy from them um about dogs in general some of them don't even own dogs um they just pet home everything they have um and they sell you a facade, a dream, uh, you know, a, the pipe dream that you are um, going to have a, you know, greater dog and you're going to do shows and you're going to win this and win that and, you know, they'll back you the whole way and, uh, you know, they sell you lies <laughs> that their programs don't throw any health defects or health issues and, you know, I got news for you, I mean... I know some people <clears throat> that do ears and uh, certain vets that have told me stuff about certain breeders um, and a lot of the stuff that if you knew you would never do business with these people because you know multiple defects you know heart murmurs cleft palates waterlogged puppies um, hip dysplasias, all stuff that is, uh, not good for the breed in general, but also it is not good for someone that is spending a lot of money on a dog that's expecting something, you know, magnificent or, you know, something, you know, higher than, um, what it's worth. <clears throat> so that being said, Some of the rumors you hear about people are true. Some of them are false. But I would say probably 60% to 75% of rumors of these big name breeders. I'm not saying that they're small town guys that, you know, are doing a couple breedings a year that, you know, make you luckily or lucky to make, you know, 30000 or $50,000 off their dogs in a whole year. I'm talking about the big name breeders that, you know, make six figures a year or more off their dogs. Um, that's their, their, their business, their way of life, or whatever the case might be, might be a side hustle that they just make a lot of money doing. But they aren't in it for the breed as much as they say they are and how much they, you know, think they are. A lot of them bought one-off dogs and think that they're somebody because they bought a nice dog and it turned out to be something better than what the person that sold it expected, which is why they sold it to begin with. Because they, if they knew the probability of that dog becoming what it is, most breeders would keep that. So, a lot of the stuff that these people say and the way they communicate and the disrespect that goes on in the community is going to have consequences, you know, for certain people. Because certain people, like myself, you know, don't tolerate that lightly. Um, and I'm very calm and cool and collective, but there's always a certain trigger that, you know, sets off a switch and that's it. 
So <clears throat> that being said, you got to realize that at the end of the day, if a breeder that you look up to and that you support and acknowledge and <clears throat> want to be a part of whatever they built doesn't give you the time of day, that's not somebody you want to do business with. If somebody, if you got to pay to talk to them or if you have to call them 50 times for them to answer, because, you know, when you buy a dog from me, from Cinema Bullies, you can contact me whenever. You can ask anyone that's bought a dog off of me. I'll talk to you, you know, whatever. Whenever you, whenever you call, I'll give you as much time as you pretty much need, unless I'm busy. But for the most part, I answer all the time, <clears throat> especially if you have a dog off of me, and I will help you um, fix whatever issue is going on. Um, and you could ask anyone that's bought a dog off of me if I'm telling the truth, because they will vouch and say that I do. <clears throat> now, most big name people will sell a dog and move forward um if you buy a dog from somebody and you request health screenings or you know whatever the case is and they deny you of that and say you know that fuck you i'm not doing that that person's hiding something there's something that they don't want you to know there's something wrong with the dog or the puppy or whatever and they don't feel obligated to share that with you They'd rather you just not get the puppy and sell the puppy to somebody that won't ask those questions. You are right to ask those questions because you were spending thousands of dollars on the dog. So when people ask me those questions, I will go to the vet and get health tests on the dogs. <clears throat> or if it's a stud fee or um, you know stud credit that I sell, if they request something, I'll take my dog to the vet and get a health check. Um, regardless, my dogs go to the vet every year for a normal health check and screening of them. And I have had zero issues with my studs or my females. And I've say, stated this on other videos, but the only issue that I've had was Obsidian um, has a soft palate. So, I mean, that's the only issue and I'm open with it. It's not a secret. I don't need to hide shit. And it can be fixed by a surgery and that's it. It's not bad enough where he needs it, but he should have it. And eventually I will be getting him, you know, his surgery. I just got to find a doctor that, you know, is going to do it. I've talked to a couple, but I um, haven't found one to, you know, really take him to and pursue it. So if you have any recommendations on that, soft palate surgeries in the tri-state area, drop it below. I'll look into it for sure. And, um... That's pretty much it in my yard. I mean, I have no heart murmurs or hip dysplasia or any type of... I've never had no uh, waterlogged puppies or cleft lip puppies. Um, <clears throat> a couple underbites here and there, but very slight. Um, but even then, I've only had... Out of nine litters, I think I've made I had four puppies with an underbite. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But... Um, yeah a lot of these people are you know blowing smoke up your ass and they put a good show on you know for when people are trying to spend money with them but then as soon as you spend that money they ghost so get to know these people prior to getting dogs off of them save yourself the headache and the aggravation um you know there's certain breeders that are cool that will give you time of day that will try to help you and educate you especially if you're new to this and um like i said they're kind of a dime a dozen so i mean you gotta really put your feelers out there learn these people see how they act see how they move watch what they post um and you'll see you know what it really is there's been a lot of posts lately about you know, certain big name breeders burning a lot of people from stud credits to puppies to own money to 
you know, stuff that you don't hear people talk about because they're scared because of who these people are. That's all going to stop soon because I'm one of the people that if I stop showing dogs, I will probably just throw everything out there and just say, fuck it. And there's a couple people that are like me that are close to doing the same thing. But, you know, that's a whole other story. But um, then that's why there's other registries. And that's the reason why, because people get fed up and they finally expose or say the wrong thing. And, you know, then they get blackballed for the rest of their showing career. And then they say, fuck this, I'm going to another registry. <laughs> so, like I said, watch, you know, what's being posted. Listen to some of the rumors. You know, try to, um, you know, confirm them. Just don't assume that they're 100% accurate. But, you know, there's ways around it to know if certain things are true or not and talk to the people that actually dealt with the person that the rumor's about and see if they confirm or deny. Or deny. And then you'll, you know, have an understanding of who these people really are outside of, you know, some pictures and some, you know, statuses they post online. So, hope this helps you guys out. Hope you guys are, you know, observant and understand what I'm trying to say I'm not trying to really blackball nobody but you know people been uh talking a little too reckless and you know the keyboard warrior stuff is you know getting out a little out of pocket I talk shit here and there to people but most of my stuff's mild I mean I don't I try not to escalate nothing on a on a post or on a platform because that don't mean nothing i mean most of the time it's from people from the midwest or the west coast and i'm never gonna see these people most likely and it's pointless even getting an argument with them especially when their dogs are trash or you know whatever the case might be and you're arguing with somebody that's not on your same level and there's some people i respect that you know get their name thrown you know through the dirt and the mud and they smile and laugh and they tell people that they're right, even though they're wrong. But, you know, they just don't want the drama in their life. I'm going to try to be like that. I mean, but, you know, I'm a little stubborn and it's hard for me to get that way. But, you know, maybe sooner than later. So, hope this helps you guys out. And uh, take care. Subscribe, like, comment. Uh, i got some more content coming. I'm going to be posting throughout the week. All right, take care, guys. Later.